this video, I'll be comparing Databricks versus Snowflake, two of the most popular data cloud platforms out there. These platforms have changed the way businesses manage, analyze, and process data. We're going to explore their differences across key areas like data processing, machine learning capabilities, cost structures, and more. So if you're deciding which one is right for you or your business, this video has all the details you need. So let's dive right in. Let's start with a little background about each platform because understanding where they come from gives us insight into their strengths today. Snowflake was founded by experts in database and data warehousing technologies. These guys know it. It takes years to perfect the structured data management and that comes across in their product offering. Snowflake shines on both structured and semi-structured data with almost a linear approach to its feature set, focusing on ease of use and scalability. Thus, it is usually considered the go-to platform for business intelligence and traditional analytics. Now, on the other hand, Databricks was born from academia. It was started by the developers of Apache Spark at UCA Berkeley. From the very beginning, Databricks focused on big data processing and machine learning, making it a favorite for data engineers and scientists. Over time, both platforms have evolved to tackle a broader range of use cases, but their origins still influence how they approach data. Okay, so now that we've covered the basics, let's talk about how they process and store data. Snowflake uses what's called a data warehouse model. At its core, it separates compute and storage. That's why it's so scalable. This separation is what enables businesses to handle massive volumes of structured and semi-structured data with ease. For those focused on business intelligence or running SQL-based queries and generating reports, this is what Snowflake was designed for. It's made the exercise of analytics fast, easy, and predictable. Databricks, however, takes a different approach. It unites data lakes and data warehouses into a single ecosystem called the lake house. Hence, structured, unstructured, and semi-structured data can be managed in one place. Video files, raw logs, large-scale data sets, Databricks is designed to process all these and more. Consequently, it fits perfectly in a setting with large data pipelines or for companies operating streaming analytics. It is also great for data scientists looking for flexibility and power to develop machine learning models. To put it in a nutshell, if analytics and reporting are your focus, Snowflake may be a better fit. If advanced processing of big data is needed or one wants to dabble in machine learning, Databricks comes into its own. Speaking of which, their machine learning capabilities. Databricks was almost built for machine learning. It comes with tools like MLflow, making the management and deployment of machine learning models very easy. Besides, it has extensive support for various programming languages, including Python, R, and Scala, giving freedom to data scientists and engineers. Snowflake is a little newer in the space, but it is getting up to speed fast. They've introduced Snowpark, enabling developers to use Python for workloads directly within Snowflake. Now, while it doesn't have as much built-in ML functionality out of the box as Databricks does, Snowflake has a great integration with third-party tools, so you're not entirely out of luck. Now, let's talk about ease of use. Snowflake is very beginner-friendly. The SQL-based interface is intuitive, and the platform requires very little management. This simplicity is alluring to businesses that would want to get started with minimal fuss and without a steep learning curve. Now, on the other hand, Databricks is said to be quite complex. It requires a bit more expertise, especially in setting up clusters and managing configurations. But with this complexity, of course, comes the reward. If you're willing to invest time in learning, Databricks offers unmatched flexibility and customization. Okay, cost structure is next, which always plays a major role in choosing a platform. Snowflake and Databricks are both on a pay-as-you-go pricing model but the charging works differently. Snowflake charges in credits based on usage of virtual warehouses. It's straightforward and easy to predict your costs. 
Databricks charges for Databricks units and the underlying cloud infrastructure. This allows more customization. Say, choosing exactly the type of compute resource you want, but it may make cost management trickier. Businesses that prefer simplicity in their billing should perhaps go with Snowflake. However, if adequately optimized, Databricks may provide better value for large-scale projects featuring complex requirements. Let's now move to the key use cases in which each platform shines. Snowflake will work wonders in business intelligence, data sharing, and structured data handling. It will be a darling for those companies reliant on their dashboards, reporting, and traditional analytics to drive their decision making. Now, on the other hand, Databricks fits data engineering and machine learning workloads. If one works with massive volumes of data, creates ETL pipelines, or is trying to attempt some AI, then in functionality and scale, he may have all that anyone wants. There is, however, one crucial thing that should be pointed out. Most organizations typically do end up having a little bit of both deployments. Often, this can be manifested through using Databricks for their data processing, whereas Snowflake represents their data warehouse that does all analytics and reporting for them. Sometimes, it's not an either-or situation, but can be both, since they dovetail pretty nicely together. Now that we did that, which one should you choose? It depends on where you're going. Remember those goals aimed at business intelligence, reporting, ease of use? All those ring very true in Snowflake. Equally, Databricks will be turning out to be pretty good on the teams who have big data analytics and machine learning invested. Well, that's it for me. Just a suggestion, try them out, both of them, even on a small scale, to understand which one will best suit your requirements. Many times, it is related to the demand from the business and their team's technical capabilities. So, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.